welcome to the first video of my Falling Back in Love with Life series. If you didn't see my intro video, I am putting out a series of six videos that hopefully will help rekindle the flame of your love for life. <laughs> so mindfulness is a seemingly simple concept. It is basically just being in the moment and being fully conscious of where you are and aware of everything around you as well as everything within you like your emotions how you're feeling and all of that it simply means not focusing on the past and not focusing on what is to come but just being in the present moment exactly where you are so getting into why mindfulness is important um, an example would be thinking about the past if you are thinking about the past you are stuck there you are not allowing yourself to move forward and grow you are stuck on what you should have done or what has happened or what you would have liked to change that is not being present and that is not going to help you move forward whether you are thinking about the past positively or negatively it doesn't matter because either way you don't live in that moment anymore you are here and you are now as far as thinking about the future, of course, planning is a great thing and it is a nice feeling to be able to look forward to something, but it's when you are excessively thinking about the future and possibly even worrying about the future, that is what I'm talking about as far as it being an unhealthy thing. Because once again, you are not enjoying where you are, you are focusing on a time and a place that doesn't exist. Thinking about the future can also give you anxiety because you are trying to predict what is going to happen when in reality you will never be able to predict the future. You must live moment to moment and eventually all will reveal itself. So being at the moment can actually seem as a foreign concept to many people and everyone started out there. Um, no one has lived their whole life in the present moment everyone has worries or is thinking about the past but it's getting back to the present moment that is the goal and when you are first starting out it may seem like a very hard thing to do I know it probably took me over a year to get to the spot where I could be mindful at all it's it really is a process but dedication is super important and it will help you benefit your life so now I'm going to go over four different ways that have helped me personally achieve mindfulness. And maybe not all of these ways will work for you, but you will find your own ways to achieve this. But this is just some of the things that I personally do. So the first thing is journaling. Um, so journaling helps me be mindful because if I am thinking about something that happened in the past or I am having anxiety about the future, if I just go ahead and write down all of my thoughts, no matter what it is that I'm feeling, it helps me kind of process that faster, uh, be productive with it and kind of just release it. And after I write about it, I can kind of just stop thinking about it. The second is meditation, which I'm sure was probably one of your first thoughts when you heard the word mindfulness come out of my mouth. Um, me meditation is a great way to practice mindfulness. Of course, it is not the only way, which I feel like some people might think it is and it might be kind of intimidating to them. But in case you aren't familiar with meditation, there are many different types, but the basis of it is, is just simply focusing on your breath. So paying attention to breathing in and breathing out. And some people sit down with it and um, use their breath to clear their mind, or you can also transform anything you're doing into meditation simply by focusing on your breath. Um, this is just my opinion on it. Everyone kind of has their own definition of meditation. So the third thing is focusing on your senses. So focusing on things around you that you see, focusing on all of the little noises that you hear. Maybe some of them you usually wouldn't pick up on, like hearing a plane above you. It's easy to just kind of let it fly by you. No pun intended. <laughs> but, <laughs> but focus on every little thing you hear. And also what you feel, like 
don't know, just touching different surfaces around you might sound kind of weird, but just try it out. It will probably help you or maybe not. So the fourth thing I'm going to talk about to help out with mindfulness is writing down lists or setting alarms for the things you need to do. Oftentimes when we know all the things that we need to get done, we just kind of hold them in our head and we try to remember them all and that can really be harmful when it comes to being present in the moment because you're constantly trying to remember all these things, um, which is super unhealthy, super counterproductive, I've found, and it just stresses you out. Like, if you just try to get a pen and a paper, physically make a list or make it on your phone, or what I like to do is set alarms. Like, if I know I, if I know I have something to do later and I know there's a good possibility of me forgetting, I'll just set an alarm for around the time I know I need to do it and then it'll go off and I'll remember and everything will be good. I don't have to think about it because I know I will be reminded of it. <laughs> so mindfulness honestly might be my number one thing for what helps me stay in love with life and fall in love with it every day. Um, once you get into the routine of mindfulness and it is something you're comfortable with, it will make you feel absolute peace and love for all things like you have never felt before. I know this probably sounds really cheesy and whatnot, but if you have practiced mindfulness yourself already, you will definitely know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't practiced it yet, I hope this video can be some inspiration for you to try it out. Um, yeah, the goal here is just to love life a little more every single day, and I hope the rest of this series will hopefully give you some inspiration to achieve that if not i'm just trying my best here but anyways that is it for this video if you liked it go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me hit subscribe for the rest of my series and also please share this video with anyone you think it will benefit have a wonderful day i will see you in my next video Peace.